Welcome to a true story that starts with our driver, Bob. Bob has worked as a driver for a Fleet Risk Advisors client for over 10 years. Let's call them Acme Trucking. Bob is one of the safest and most well-respected drivers at Acme Trucking. He is even the face of the company and is featured on their billboard ads. As one of the safest drivers, Bob is typically ranked in the lowest risk group at Fleet Risk Advisors. As was the case, 75 days from the event. 45 days prior, he moved into the medium risk group. And 15 days prior to the event, he was ranked in the highest risk group, and a remediation plan was recommended by Fleet Risk Advisors. Bob was a known good driver, and therefore, the model was assumed to be wrong. No remediation was taken. Bob had a high-speed rear-end collision with another vehicle on a bridge, resulting in injuries to the occupants of the other vehicle. Though no one was killed, this was a severe accident. Let's go back in time and find out what was going on in Bob's life prior to the accident and see how it's reflected in the company data. During the accident review, Bob admitted that 90 days ago he had been notified that he was going to have to leave his FEMA trailer and he had begun working on the weekends to repair his own home which had been damaged during Hurricane Katrina. Thirty days before the accident, Bob had slipped off a ladder while working on his roof and hurt his ankle badly. He was trying to work through the injury because he didn't want to lose his job. On the day of the accident, he had noticed heavy traffic on the other side of the bridge and stated that he was concerned that he wouldn't be able to get back to the terminal on time. The predictive model had stated that this driver required a personal family intervention. Changes in his behavior were reflected in the ACME data and picked up by the Fleet Risk Advisor's safety model. The first identified change was a shift start variation due to spending more time at home and having a longer commute, as well as being slower to get back due to his injury. Secondly, a decrease in the number of trips in the month as he was taking more time on the weekends to work on his home. And finally, an increase in max speed during the past 30 days as he was rushing and trying to get more work done, feeling the pressure to perform at work. Bob's story shows us how stress leads to a change in behavior which may lead to an event. In this example, the event was an accident, but it could equally have been a workers' comp claim or a driver leaving the fleet. But by using fleet risk advisors, we can capture the reflection of the behavior in the data, provide the driver with remediation, and avoid the event altogether.